How's it going everyone? Welcome to Timeless Founder. My name is John and today I'm going to share a few quick tips on how you can get the most out of your Timeless Foundry coin mold. So if you want to learn how to make beautiful coins like this with confidence, then be sure to stick around to the end of this short video. Let's get into it. All right, you guys, first and foremost, you need to prioritize your own personal safety by wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment. So if you're not dressed like this, then I don't recommend you do foundry working of any kind. Remember, if you can't afford to lose it, then you better cover it up. Also, if it looks like this outside, then go ahead and postpone your casting session, as water is the enemy of molten metal. That's why the number one rule when casting with graphite is to always preheat your mold, and this step is mandatory. See the water that leaches out of this mold when heat is added? If you don't remove that water, it could cause a flash steam explosion, which is a huge no-no that is 100% preventable. This is also why we pour over fire bricks and not cement, as cement stores micro pockets of water. Never start your furnace unless you are in direct proximity of a fire extinguisher, and always wear a respirator when melting metals that can produce toxic fumes like zinc or soda cans. Remember, it is your responsibility to know the safety parameters of the metal you are using. Before adding heat to your mold, it's imperative that the mold is level, otherwise your coins may turn out lopsided and uneven. Next, be sure to pour with a small crucible when casting coins. Just like you wouldn't pour a gallon of milk into a tiny teaspoon, you certainly wouldn't want to do it with molten metal. Small and controlled pours are the key to successful coin mold casting. Proper temperature regulation is also a key factor in successful casting. Make sure to use a temp gun to ensure your metal is at optimal casting temperature. Make sure to pour as close as possible to the mold to avoid splashing and to avoid turbulence and perfection lines in your casting. While it's not required, I often keep a torch flame over the mold while pouring. Flame coverage lowers oxygen absorption in the metal while also causing the metal to cool more slowly, allowing for better design turnout and less surface imperfections. As a pro tip, make sure you don't fill the mold more than halfway. Remember that you're making coins, not cookies. To avoid injury, never touch your mold after heat has been applied until it has had adequate time to completely cool down. This precaution is mandatory even if you are wearing heat resistant gloves. Once cooled, you may periodically want to gently remove any casting residue with quadruple out steel wool to restore the mold before your next casting session. This will ensure quality in your next castings. I do this primarily after casting with alloys containing zinc, such as brass, as they leave zinc oxide residue on the surface. There you have it, good as new. Now listen guys, I have made thousands of coins and never even had a close call using these simple precautions. Never compromise on safety while casting and always be aware of your surroundings when dealing with hot or dangerous materials. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you wanna learn more about the art of metal casting, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button as I've got dozens of upcoming videos that will help you become a master in the trade. Be safe, happy casting, and I'll see you guys in the next video.